Yes. Um, you know, there's been a, dis there's a discussion going on about whether or not Congress has the right to, to stop the war, un unbelievably. Um, and I think that one of the things that's important here where it says that Congress will appropriate money to use, but shall be no longer termed in two years. Now, there's a reason why that was written. Uh, you me remember that Congress is a full and equal branch to the president. It is not an arm of the president, it is a branch that's equal to the president. Our founding generation wrote the Constitution in a way where the three branches are supposed to check and balance each other. That's the first thing that we have to remember. Now, they didn't write this two years just because they thought arbitrarily, well, let's put two years in here. I believe they put that there because they thought, well, you know, Executives 10, which was the kings at the time, you know, because remember, we had a revolution to get away from a king. Executives tend to go off and do things. You know, so if the president was to go off on one of these little adventures, then the Congress, after two years, could look at this adventure and decide whether or not it's something we should be continuing to do or not. So that is why the Constitution itself says that only up to two years. So yes, Congress has the right, in fact, the responsibility to look at what we're doing in foreign policy and decide whether or not they should fund it. It's right here, ladies and gentlemen. So. We sh there should be no argument as to whether or not Congress has the right to stop the president because it's in the Constitution for a reason. So when people say that to you, pull the Constitution out. If you need some constitutions, we have it. Go to the, to the article in the section, read it to them so they will understand that that is why our founding generation wrote it the way they did. Okay, thank you.